In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to set up the title and meta settings in Yoast WordPress SEO plugin. Starting off in the WordPress dashboard, we're going to kick this off from within the SEO plugin, which you can click here just in the left hand side of the menu after installing it on SEO. Now we're just in the general settings at the moment, so what we need to do is on the left hand side click titles and metas. Now, first up, we just have the general settings tab. The very first one is the ability to force rewrite titles. Now, if you're viewing your website and you notice that the title tags are not showing as they should, you can just simply check this box and then the plugin will handle force rewriting those titles. For the most part though, it will actually automatically detect whether it needs to or not and turn that on or off as required, unless you manually override that of course, which we're doing just now for the demonstration. Next up we have site-wide meta settings. The first one is to set no index on subpages of archives. So as it says here, if you want to prevent page two and any further instances of archive pages showing up in search results, you just simply need to check that box. So when you have, say, maybe you have a category called music, if your category music has many, many posts, there'll be many, many pages listing all of those posts. So you can actually choose to make sure those don't show up in search results. Secondly, we have the ability to use meta keywords. Now, meta keywords used to be a very powerful part of an SEO strategy for a website, but unfortunately it was very highly abused to the point that search engines don't really care about this anymore. So while you can choose to turn this on, it's really a waste of time to do so. The next setting we have is for no ODP. ODP stands for Open Directory Project. It's run by an organization called DMOZ. And what this will do when you enable it, if you choose to enable it, is it'll prevent search engines from using a description, if you have one on that particular directory, from showing as the snippet for your website in search results. This is the same for the next setting, no Yahoo directory. Yahoo also has their own website directory. And by disabling this, or by checking this box rather, you can choose to not show the Yahoo snippet either. For most websites, this isn't a concern people seem to have stopped using these two directories over time. So for the most part, you won't need to worry about that. Finally, we have the option to clean up the head. And what this does is it just enables you to customize what shows in the head of your document. Now, by default, there'll be some RSD links, WLW manifest links, short links for posts and RSS links. These aren't actually visible to anyone that's viewing your website unless they choose to go and show the source for the particular page they're on. It's up to you if you'd like to do it. It does make the head of your document a little bit cleaner, which results in making for a slightly smaller page. So it's up to you if you want to do this. They're all disabled by default, and it's perfectly fine to use it just the way it is. Now we'll scroll back up, and we're going to move to the Home tab. Here we can set the title template and meta description template for the home page. Currently the title template is just set to the default. It'll show the site name, the page number, such as if you're on page two of your home page if you have a very long list of posts on your home page it'll show that it's on page two or three or four and so on after the page number if it chooses to generate one we have the separator the separator is usually just a dash unless it is previously configured in your theme uh, it's something other than a dash finally it'll then display the site description so what this would mean for WK, WPKB would it would be WordPress knowledge base separator and then the site description which is the best WordPress how to's but of course we can just leave it as it was before the meta description template is something that you can set as well you can use the same tags that are up here or you can choose to write it yourself so you might choose to say WordPress knowledge base site dedicated to WordPress tutorials and helping users find answers to common problems. When you're done there, naturally you just click save changes. The next tab is regarding post types. So when we're talking about post types in this sense, we're talking about posts, pages and media. We have a few more settings here that are probably new to us. So straight up we have the title template once again. 
and it's exactly the same as it was before. Once again, you can change this or you can leave it as it is. For the most part though, leaving it just as it is, is perfectly fine. Once again, you can set the meta description template, but thereafter we can choose to set custom meta robots tags. The first option there by checking it, will set it to no index and follow. No index means that search engines should not index that page. They still can, and in some instances they still might, but for most, it will definitely make it not appear in the index. Follow is just regarding the links that appear in that post or on that page. So if you have any links to other websites or you know links to other pages on your website, it will still follow those links through. And this just helps create a better idea of what your website contains for search engines so as to better deliver the best search results to people using them. Next, we can choose to not show the author relationship profile. This is particularly handy if you don't have a Google Plus profile, but if you do, you should leave this enabled because it will allow you to show your Google Plus image right in the search results. So if you do have a Google Plus profile, it's worth leaving this enabled. Even if you don't, you can still leave it enabled anyway. It's really just a way to micromanage this particular setting for your website. Next, we have the ability to not show the date in the snippet preview. Now, all posts have a published date. By enabling this, we allow that to appear in search results. Of course, you can choose to disable that. And finally, we have the WordPress SEO meta box. What this means is that we can hide the SEO meta box. I'll just show you an example of what that is now. So if we just quickly go to add a new post and we scroll down just below the post, this is the WordPress SEO meta box. So enabling that setting will actually hide that. So that's really all you need to know for the post type settings because these are all the same for your posts, pages, and media. And you can configure them as you see fit. Next, we have taxonomies. This is just a nice way of saying categories and tags. Once again, we have the title template. It just says the term title. So if you have a category called music, you might have something that says music archives with the page separator and then the site name. Uh, you can once again set a meta description template it's very handy to do this because it will allow search engines to get a better idea of what your site has or what that particular category has. And once again, we've got the ability to customize these meta robot tags to no index follow and also disable the WordPress SEO meta box. The settings that are available here are the same for your categories, tags, and your format. Though the format by default will have no index and follow enabled. You can leave it just as that. Finally, we have other. This is in regards to author archives, date archives, and special pages. So starting up the top with author and date archives, we can see here the title template is slightly different. So the title template has the name and then the author at the site name. So this might say Joe, author at WPKB. Once again, we can set the meta description template. We can also choose to no index that page and all author pages therein. And in doing so, that will also make sure that any links from that page are still followed though. Finally, we have the option to disable the author archives, just as we do have the option to, to disable the date-based archives. If you have a one author blog, it's handy to disable the author archive because it's just going to look the same as your home page. But otherwise, you're welcome to keep that enabled. The date archives, these can be handy to disable if you'd like. They'll most likely look a lot like your home page and as it mentions here in the description just below it, it could be seen as duplicate content. It's up to you to decide if you really do or don't want to disable that. But unless you're running a site such as a news website that you know has posts that really do need to be categorized strictly by a date, then you can probably be safe to disable that. As far as special pages go, the two that we have available to us are the search pages and the 404 pages. Here we can see the title template for search pages. It just says you're searched for, search phrase, what page it's on, the separator, and then the site name. That's the standard and the default, and it's totally okay to leave it like that. Finally, we have the 404 pages. Again, it just says page not found. It'll have the default separator, and then list your site name. And that covers all the settings as far as titles and meta tags go for Yoast's WordPress SEO plugin. Once you're finished changing your settings, you just click Save Changes for all of it, and it will make sure that those are reflected ongoing. If you have any questions on how to further use this, please ask in the comments below.